We're building giant diggers so we can drive JJ and Mikey's family to safety away from this zombie army. Can we escape before we die? Louis, this is really bad. The zombie army will be here any minute now. I know. Look, when the sun goes down, those zombies will attack. We need to build some really secure bases for Mikey and JJ, but what should we build? Louis, I love digging. And yesterday, I found out that diggers exist. So how about we build giant diggers to build giant holes to put the zombies in? Wait, that's a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that, guys? But anyways, let's go ahead and build some huge rainbow diggers. And you can build whatever let's you want. It. All right, Louie, I'm going to start building my huge digger for Mikey's family. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and build mine over here for JJ's family. What are you going to build your digger out of, Louie? Well, since I'm building a rainbow one, I'm going to use all the colors of the rainbow. I'm just getting them all out right now. I've got red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Now I just need pink and purple. So let's grab those colors like this, and let's also get some iron, because we know that iron is an extremely strong block and will keep my digger secure. I'm also going to use these black iron blocks because this is going to be a really crazy digger. But first, I'm going to need the wand of symmetry because this will allow me to build my digger extremely fast. Look at this. If I place a block on this side, it also places one on that side, meaning I can go ahead and build one section of the digger over here, and it'll build it over there too. So I'm going to go ahead and build an outline over here. Let's just build it with these iron blocks. I'm going to first start building the wheels for this thing. As you guys know, a digger doesn't only just have a few wheels. It has one big track of wheels going all the way around it, which makes it extremely good at getting through all of the mud and dirt. It also allows it to get over all of the holes that it digs. So let's go ahead and build some small wheels like this. These are the tracks that my digger will be driving on. Now all I've got to do is just add some tracks on the inside. As you guys know, no, these tracks are supposed to be like this. They have to be alternating in color so that they kind of look like spikes sticking into the ground. This is how these things drive through all of the mud without getting all muddy and falling over because the ground is quite slippery. There we go. That's looking really cool. I'm also going to go ahead and make it really, really spiky so that all of these spikes can stick into the ground and won't let our digger fall over. This is going to be really cool looking. So I'll just do that. As you can see, it looks really spiky. Spiky and scary. Let me just place these spikes on this side. And whoa, this is awesome. Now we have some really spiky tracks. But we need to make this thing a rainbow digger. So we need to go ahead and start on those rainbow colors. So I'll fill this thing up with some red here. Then some orange next. And then I'll do the yellow. Then the green. This is going to look just like a rainbow. Then the blue. Then I'll do the purple. And then I need some pink. So I need to grab that. If you guys think this rainbow digger is going to look super cool, then make sure to comment down below. And if you really like like the build at the end, then make sure to subscribe because we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. But anyways, here we go. We have a rainbow wheel on this side. And on that side, we also have the same thing. This is awesome looking. But now I need to get some black concrete. And I'll show you why in a second. Because these diggers, as you guys know, they have a black section underneath. And this is what holds them up off the ground. And also allows them to turn around because they need to be able to turn all the way around to be able to dig and stuff all the way next to them. So I'm going to make an area that allows this thing to turn. We just have to build a platform all the way over here out of black concrete. I'll build it all the way over here in a nice square shape like this. And I need to make sure to leave some space at the back so that I can build the engine. Let's go ahead and fill in this black area right now. I am really confident that this digger is going to look super cool once I finished building. It's going to be able to make massive
massive holes in the ground. And it's going to make all of the zombies fall in. There is no way a zombie army could take me and Pip out. And here we go. I'm almost completed. And there we have it. We have that black section where the digger will hold itself on top of. This is looking really awesome. It kind of looks like a tank right now. This is amazing. Oh, Louis, your digger is looking really ugly. What, what do you mean it's looking ugly? This thing is beautiful. And uh, Pip, how can you call mine ugly when yours looks like that? Is there something wrong, Louis? Yes, Pip, these aren't even wheels. This is like, I don't even know. They are wheels, Louis. Look, when you flip these trap doors, they can go down and act as wheels. Um, I don't think wheels work when they're flat on the ground. You have a flat tire right now, Pip. Louis, I'm sure when I put the engine in, the digger will go. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. But you haven't even put your engine in yet, so you've got to get started. But anyways, Pip, I don't have time to dawdle. I need to go ahead and build the top of my digger. This is where everything will be on the inside. And I need to make sure that it goes up into the air so that it doesn't rotate into the wheels and mess everything up. I'm going to build it one more block up into the sky with this black concrete. This is looking really cool right now. And I really hope this digger is strong enough to protect JJ and Mikey's families. But anyways, guys, look at this. I've just now started on the foundation of this digger. I need to go ahead and build a massive iron platform. But this is taking a while. And I have to build all the way over there. So how about I do some something like this. I'll use some pro admin commands to be able to build this really fast, just like this. Now we have a huge platform like this. We have this rainbow wheel, a nice little platform on the top here. This is where we will build the big room to hold everything inside. So let me go ahead and build that. First of all, though, I want to make a nice rainbow wall for this entire digger. I'll just make it out of rainbow colors like this. I'll do my red orange, yellow, and green. And make sure I build up all of these rainbow colors in the wall. Then I can use admin commands once again to copy them over and build it faster. So let me get these rainbow colors. I'll copy them like this. And then I'll paste them going all the way to this side. And now all I have to do is just go from one side to the other once again and do it again. Now we have rainbow walls on this digger. All I have to do now is just fill in these iron blocks right here, and this will be the outside foundation to this thing. This is looking super cool. And there we go. We now have the front, and we have the back of this digger. And we can go ahead and probably put a window right here, and one right there. I'll make these out of red stained glass, because I love that block. I also love red a ton, guys. It's my favorite color. And what is your favorite color? Comment down below. Oh, Louis, so many people are going to comment that Yellow is their favorite color. What? No, they are not. If they are watching my channel, then they must love red. Because why else would they be watching a red man build a red base or a rainbow base? Oh, they're only watching you so they can see Pip's expert build. Oh, wait, I haven't seen yours in a while. And uh, what is that? You said this is an expert build, but what even is this? Oh, Louie, I'm starting to build the inside of my excavator. And I've also added more tires to my digger since you said my previous tires weren't good enough. What? Wait, this is actually pretty good. But they are in item frames. How would they even drive on the road? Well, I've got these tires in my hand. But for some reason, it won't let me put them on my digger. So I just put them in item frames instead. Well, I guess that is pretty smart thinking, Pip. Good job. Thank you very much, Louie. But wait, how have you built all that already? Well, that's just because I'm a really, really good builder, Pip. As you can see, you're still working on your walls. But I've completed them all. Oh, Louie, your walls are looking super ugly. And this doesn't even look like a digger. This looks like a tank. Wait, what do you mean it looks like a tank? Oh, wait a second. Now that I look at this thing, you're kind of right. You know what? I think it's time for me to build the digging arm. Yeah, and these stairs on your wheels, they look so 
scary. It looks like you're going to war or something, Louie. Yeah, Pip, that's exactly what it should look like. After all, these are the tracks for the digger's wheels. This makes sure that they stick into the ground and don't let it slip over. Louie, why would you want your digger to stick into the ground and get stuck? But it needs to stick into the ground to stay upright. Would you rather have a stuck digger or would you rather have a digger that fell over and you can't pick it back up? Well, Louie, my digger isn't going to fall over. It has so many wheels. Yeah, it has a lot of wheels, but it's very square. Are you sure that thing will stay upright? Of course, Louie. It's made out of the best block in Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know about that. Dirt is a very, very strange block. But anyways, Pip, we don't have time to dawdle. We need to keep building our rainbow diggers. And uh, you can keep building that dirt digger or whatever. But anyways, come on. We need to build the shape of the arm that is coming off of our diggers. So I'm going to go ahead and build it just like this. I'm going to build some little blocks coming off. And this is going to be shaped like the arm that comes off of it. I also need to make it rainbow colored. So I need to go ahead and do a red one here and then i'll do a orange one here and as you can see this arm is going to be rainbow colored as it comes off the side. I just need to make sure that this thing is stable enough because I might be building some rooms in these things and I need to make sure that no zombies can get inside. Let's just keep building these walls up. I've done a red one over here and I'll do another red one behind here. After all, this arm needs to be really strong and be able to dig into the ground without falling apart. And if I don't have walls on any of the sides, it won't hold together. I'm doing an orange side right here here. And then I'll go ahead and add some iron just to reinforce the walls. This is looking really awesome. I just need to make sure this thing can pick up things like a digger. So I need to make sure that I build the little scooper at the bottom. But first, let me build the shape of this scooping arm. It needs to look really, really good so that it can hold anything that I need it to hold. Here we go. I've built a red area and an orange area. But now it's time to build the longest area area of it all the way over here. This will mean that the digger can hold things from really far away, and this should be really good at the zombie army attacks, because it will be able to scoop up a ton of zombies from really far away. Oh, Pip! I bet you never thought of that, huh? Wait, what did you do? I'm building a really long scooping arm. This means my digger can make massive holes from anywhere. Wait, you built a giant pooping arm? I didn't even know diggers had those. Wait, did you just say pooping arm? No, I don't have a pooping arm on this thing. It's called a scooping arm, Pip. Oh, I must have been building the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me you put an arm on your digger that poops on the ground. Well, I was going to do it, but now that you're saying it's a bad idea, it does sound like a bad idea. Yeah, it really does, Pip. And look at this. I've just finished the green area of my scooping arm. Now it's time to do the next area. You know what? I'll just have it scoop all the way down now and go all the way to the scooper at the bottom. So let's build the shape of this area all the way down. This is going to be the area where the scooper is held on. So I'll build it going all the way down and connecting up just like this. Now I need to connect this area up to the green arm on the top. Boom! Let's make this one out of blue concrete. This will make it really, really rainbow looking. And boom! Look at this, guys. I have gone ahead and built this blue area right here. Now it goes all the way down to the ground. This this thing is looking like a really good scooping arm, but now I need to actually add the digger to it. So let's get some black iron blocks and build this thing. After all, it needs to have a scooper shape. So I'm going to make it look like it's able to scoop things off of the ground, just like this. As you can see, it has a nice little scooping shape, and I'm going to make it go ahead and connect up together. As you know, these diggers have these really, really sharp edges to them. This is so it can grab any 
everything in the dirt. But now I need to connect it all up and make a nice foundation for this thing so it can hold anything that it picks up. So let's go ahead and build these walls up just like this. I'm building these out of black iron blocks so that it doesn't break. If this digger was to break, it would be really catastrophic, guys. We would have to replace this entire thing right here and the zombie army might kill Mikey and JJ, which we do not want. But now that I've built this hook shape, I need to build some walls onto it so that it can actually hold things inside of it. This is what a digger actually does. So there we go. I've built both of the sides and we have areas where dirt can stay on the inside of there. You know what? Let's actually put a bunch of grass inside. Like this digger has grabbed a ton of grass. Just like that. That is awesome. So there we go. We now have the shape for this digger and now all we need is the control room at the top. So let's go ahead and build that. I can build a nice little area up here. I think I'll make it very square. Just like this. And now I can place my wand of symmetry in the middle so that I can start on a nice little shape on this thing. Let's go ahead and build this thing out like this. And now it's time to add some glass on the top. And this is what I'll be able to look out of when I'm driving my digger. This thing is going to look super cool. Just look at how it's coming along right now. Whoa! I'm just going to build up this glass to make this thing look really cool. Just like this, guys. Isn't this amazing? Now I just need to add one little area on the top. And this is so that I can see into the sky just in case any zombies start parachuting down. And there we go. We now have a dome on the top of our digger. And that is where I can sit on the inside. If you guys think this build looks amazing, then make sure to subscribe. Because we do builds like this all the time. And pips are always really bad. Hey, Louie, I heard that. Um, My pooper is almost done. Wait, your pooper? Oh, please don't tell me you actually built a pooper instead of a scooper. Well, how about you just look under my pooper? All right, let's take a look. What, wait, what is this? You just pooped all over the ground. Ew. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? No, Pip, look at mine. I said scooper. It's supposed to scoop a bunch of dirt off the ground, not poop it back down. Oh, so this is supposed to dig holes so we can poop in them? No, it's just supposed to dig holes in general. Oh, so we poop in the scooper. No, okay. no, Pip, stop pooping on my build. Oh. Oh, sorry, Louie. I just thought you wanted some poop on here. Oh, I, I guess it's fine, Pip. Listen, we don't have much time, though. So quickly, go to your pooper and turn it into a scooper. Can it be a pooper scooper? Oh, I guess it can be. Just make sure to add a scooper on there. You are going to need it. Oh, fine, Louie. But anyways, Pip, while you're building that, I need to start on some traps to keep the zombies out. This digger has to be really, really secure. But where are you even supposed to put your entrance, Louie? Well, let me show you. I'm going to build something that not even the zombies will know how to get past. I'm going to get some slime blocks and some pistons. And I'm also going to grab a button. This is going to be a really cool entrance. Just watch this. If I put a piston down here in the ground, a slime block on top and a button, I can press it to launch myself up. That's a genius idea, Louie. Oh, I should do that too. Wait, Pip, no! Stop stealing my ideas! Oh, I am going to get revenge on you. Yeah, right, Louie. Why do you even know how to do that? Um, yes, I do. Just watch this. H how about this, Pip? Let me show you how to make this thing way better, okay? If you get some obsidian and replace the slime block with it, it bounces you way higher into the sky. Does it? Uh, let me try that. Yeah, look, it's really good. And it didn't work. <laughs> oh, this obsidian sucks. I'm using slime instead. You did say I couldn't get revenge on you, but I just did. <laughs> being dumb. You should know obsidian doesn't work. Oh, yes it does. I just did that so your thing wouldn't work. But anyways, I need to build my entrance right now. So once I get onto the top here, I'm going to go ahead and add some ladders that I can climb up to get inside. I'll make my entrance to my digger right here. Right in the middle. And I think 
will also make a little balcony so that I could shoot at all of the zombies from the top. This thing is going to be really cool looking. I think I should get some glass really quickly and I should place it on the sides just like this. If you guys didn't know, a digger actually has these little side compartments that come off of it. And I need to make sure that all of these details are correct. Just so these zombies might see this digger and get really scared. Let me just go ahead and leave a gap in the glass so that I can shoot out of the side of this thing. And then let's build it all the way up to the top like this. And this is going to be the area where I can shoot at the zombies. This digger is awesome. It even has the side compartments where I can shoot from. This is amazing. So look at this. I use this slime block to get up to the top, then use these ladders, and I can shoot at the zombies from up here. It's amazing. And wait a second. Pip, I can see you in your build. Look at this. Hey, Louie. I'm just driving my pooper scooper right now. Wait, you're driving your pooper scooper? Uh, that just reminds me. I don't even have any controls to drive this thing. Oh, neither do I. Yeah, we should probably get building those now. So let's go ahead and build something that I can drive this pooper scooper with. I'll just a scooper. I need to remember as well that I had an area up here that I had for driving. So let me just make an area up here with this ladder. And this is where I will drive the scooper. Let me just make a little table here. This is where the control panel will be. I need to make sure that it's all the same length. And I'm gonna add some white glass to it to make it look more futuristic. Then I'll grab some of these oak logs and make this thing look really awesome. Let's just build them going around like that. And now I need a monitor to make this thing work. I'll have two monitors on the front, and I'll also grab some seats. This is just so that this digger will work. I'll have a monitor for me and a monitor for Pip. Now I need a control panel and a screen. So let's go ahead and add those. I'll add my console right here to control the to control this digger. And then I'll add a screen on the top so I can see everything that's happening on the outside. Now it's time to start on my engine room. And my engine room engine room is going to be super modern. So we're going to put these little laser blocks all around. And then we're going to put our console right in the middle and then put a chair because we have to sit down, of course. And then to power my control panels, we're going to use redstone. And then we're going to add a lever onto my panel so we can flip it off and on. Just like this. And now whenever I'm sitting down, I can just activate these levers and now my engine is on. So let's just add some lamps to my control panel. Just so we know that this engine is on and working. Let's just put it like this. Do the same thing over here. And now once we flip it off and on, we can tell if our engine is on by looking at these lamps. Let's go! But now, guys, I need to make this thing look really, really futuristic. So I'm going to add redstone lamps coming all the way down this control room. And watch this. You are going to love this. If I go ahead and give myself a debug stick, I can turn all of these blocks around really easily. So let me just go ahead and do this. And then you'll see exactly what I'm about to build. It's going to be awesome. If I just flip all of these observers around so the faces are looking at me, this means it will detect anything on this side of it. So all I have to do now is just build an observer line coming all the way down here and then going all the way back. And now that I've built all of this, look at this, guys. I have some lamps that go all the way across like this. And it's like the lights are flickering on and off. Now, if I just put this on the other side, we will have an awesome control room. So let's get started on building it right now. I'm going to make this building a lot faster by copying this observer and going all the way over here. I can go ahead and set them all to observers that are facing the right way round. Now, all I have to do is make my observer line once again. Let's just build it just like this. And let's go ahead and place these blocks on the other side again. Redstone dust and an observer. And now this thing should work. Whoa, that's awesome. Now these things go down like this, like a light. And then there's another light and another one. And as you can see, we now have this really cool futuristic looking device. Now all I have to do is just cover up all the redstone like this, just so that it looks really cool. I want this to look like all of the power going to the end 
engine. All of these lights are like electrical signals coming from the engine and into my control panel. This is really cool. But now that I've built this control area, I need to start on the next area of my build. And this will be my engine. So what I'm going to do is get some lime stained glass like this. And I'm going to build it along this wall right here. This will be the glass that holds the engine on the inside of my build. And it means that nobody can walk towards it and get stuck. This engine is going to be really big. So I cannot afford to let anyone walk too close or they might die. After all, engines are really dangerous when they are turned on. So here we go. I'm going to get some emerald blocks right now to build this engine out of just like this. I'm also going to grab some emerald fans and some of these ceiling fans. After all, they still work to cool down the engine. Now I just need some redstone blocks to make this thing work. Here we go. Let's go ahead and build a really cool engine. I'll build it out of these emerald blocks like this and make it nice and big, just like that. Now I'll add some redstone blocks going around this thing so that this thing can be powered. And let's add some fans to this thing. So here we go. Let's put some fans on the side of this thing. This will make sure that the engine is cooled down and cannot overheat. Now all we have to do is build up this engine with these emerald blocks. And this thing is looking so cool. I'm also going to go ahead and add a motor on the inside so this thing will actually work. Let's put a motor right here and get some of these cog wheels just like this. Now all I need to do is place one there, there, and on the back. And now all I have to do is have them come out of the sides like this. And then I'll have the power go down into the actual wheels like this. Now if I look at this engine from the outside, it's all spinning and working. This is awesome. Oh, Pip, have you built an engine inside of your digger? And even if you have, I doubt it's better than mine. Of course, Louie, but I'm starting to realize there's a lot more I can add to this. Wait, what kind of things would you add if you could? Maybe I can help you build your control panel. Well, before we add new stuff, let me show you around. All right, let's take a look. What is your build all about? Right here is my control panel with the levers right here, which activate the digger. And you can see, you can tell it's activated when the light is on. Oh, wait, but what if I turn this one off and this one is on? Then what is the engine doing? Louis, don't even ask. You might break my engine. All right, fine, whatever. But Louis, you're going to love this lever. Just spin, press this lever. All right, and... Ew, it pooped everywhere. <laughs> what? Oh, Pip, you are very much like Mikey. Mikey probably loves this, whereas JJ would be disgusted, just like I am. Oh, there's so much poop everywhere, Louie. Uh, can you help me clean it up? No, you can clean it up yourself. That's disgusting. Where did you even get all this poop from? Oh, I made it myself. Oh, no. You know what, guys? I'm going back to my digger. I don't think I want to talk to Pip anymore. Ew. Wait, where are you going, Louie? I just wanted to show you my homemade poop. Nope, I'm not letting you show me anything. That's so weird. Oh, you're lost, Louie. More for me. Uh, yeah, more poop for you. But, uh, guys, I keep getting distracted. Pip keeps showing me all these weird things. But anyways, I need to go ahead and build a room for JJ to stay in. I completely forgot I was protecting their families. So let's go ahead and build a wall here with a room on the inside. And let's go ahead and make a space right here. This area is where JJ's room is going to be. And you know what? I'm going to build it out of red concrete just so that we know this is JJ's room. I'll build a massive red wall going all the way up, and this means that JJ is staying inside. Now, I just need to add a door, and I'll add a little window that he can look out of if he likes, just like this. Let's go ahead and add a door on the inside now, and let's make sure that this is an iron door. This way, nothing can get inside. I'm going to add a lever too on the outside, so that you can get in and out whenever you need. But now that I'm inside of JJ's room, I need to actually add some things JJ would like.
like. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to add a nice big red sofa and I'm going to have it facing against this window here so that you have tons of natural lights coming in from the outside. Then I'm going to add a TV on the other side of the room. This way JJ can watch any of his favorite TV shows. I'll also add a little red table underneath the TV so that it doesn't fall off the wall. I'm also going to add a little red cup. It's going all the way over towards the TV too. This is so that the room is split into two pieces and JJ will really like it. But now from here, it's time to add some things for JJ and I'm going to make sure to add a nice kitchen in so he can eat any of his favorite foods. What kind of things go in a kitchen? I think I'll add a microwave and then I'll add a toaster because we need all the toast we can have. And then I'll also add an oven because what is a kitchen without an oven on the inside? Let's just put my microwave here and my toaster here and this is a nice little kitchen. I'll just have a little thing going up into the ceiling to suck all of the smoke and steam out of the oven when it's cooking. I'll also add some fans on the top so it pulls the air out of here. And now that I've got a kitchen, let's also build a nice little area for JJ to do everything he wants on this side. I'm going to do some bookshelves because JJ loves to read. What about you guys? Do you have a favorite book right now? Oh, Louie, I'm sure I'd love to read if I knew how to read. Um, yeah, Pip, you really wish you could read right now, but sadly, you can't. And that's really sad. Pip is just a duck and his brain isn't fully developed yet. Louie, I don't appreciate you making fun of my brain. It might not be developed, but it's super big. Uh, yeah, your brain is, uh, really, really super big, Pip. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Louis, that sounds sarcastic. Um, uh, yeah, it, it is. I I'm sorry. But Pip, you gotta keep working on your build. We don't have long left. I'm just adding a PC setup for JJ right now. And I'm also making sure it's nice and red. Look how cool this thing looks. Oh, I'm building Mikey's bedroom right now. It looks so beautiful. Wait, you're building the bedroom too? You're totally copying me. Louis, both of our bases are supposed to have beds in them. So how is it copying? I think I completely forgot we were supposed to have beds in the first place. I built everything but a bed in this bedroom. So you know what? I'm going to build it right now. I'll just put some iron over here and I'll add a ladder going up the side of this wall right here. And this is where JJ's bed is going to be. Whoa, that's awesome. I think I'll also add a fence as well, just so he doesn't fall off the edge while sleeping during the night. And this is the best room I've ever seen. What do you guys think? Would you live in this this bedroom if you could? But there we go. Since we've completed the room, it's time to build some more things. And I think right here, I will add a bathroom. So let's go ahead and just get rid of some of these windows here. And let's add a room on the back. This is where I will be able to take poops and peas. And it'll also make sure that I don't have to make this digger like a pooper like Pip has. I'll add one of these doors with no windows so that you can have a lot of privacy. And I'll also also go ahead and add a sign saying toilet don't come in if occupied. This is just so that no one comes in whilst I'm taking a poop. There we go. Now let's go inside and add the toilet. So let's just type in toilet here into the creative menu and put one right here. And oh, I just realized there's a massive window on the front. So let's go ahead and just replace this window with this right here. This little wall will ensure that no one can see when you're doing your business. There we go. Now let's just add a sink on this side right here. Just there. And let's add a mirror too. This is just so that I can look at myself when I'm washing my hands. I'm also going to go ahead and add a shower in just like that so that I can go ahead and wash myself whenever I need. So we have a toilet, a shower, and a sink. That's all you should need in the bathroom. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and add some white stained glass to this area right here. And this is just so that I can have an extra layer of security to stop anything from getting inside this room. I'm going to add this really cool keypad door and put a password on the inside. That is one, two, three, four, so that nothing can get inside unless it knows the password. And boom, we now have a large
large hallway coming all the way to that bedroom over here. So let's go ahead and add some traps on the inside of my digger to stop those zombies from getting in. I think I'll go ahead and add a laser wall. This is just so that all of the zombies, when they walk through, will take a ton of damage. So I'm going to put some lasers going across this entire wall here. And let's go ahead and add the tripwires in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add two walls on the side of this room right here. Just in front of the engine. I'm going to put some tripwires on both of these walls right here. Like this. And then connect them up with string. And now if I step onto one of these tripwires, it should activate the laser. So if I walk across, it just blasts me with lasers. But the thing is, if I want to get in, I can be smart and walk around these tripwire hooks like this and I'll take no damage but those zombies will be too dumb to realize that and they'll die now my armory is complete this armory right here should help me survive the zombie army let's look at my weapons so first I have a bow with a bunch of arrows and then under that chest I have a sword and then over here we have my food because how am I going to survive a zombie army without any food. And then last but not least, we have some rotten flesh. Rotten flesh is super healthy for you. But now that my armory is complete, I think it's time to start working on some traps. So I need to start on my favorite trap, a lava moat. We're going to dig a giant hole all around my digger so we can put lava in it. So when these zombies come to my digger, they fall right into the lava. And now my hole is complete. So let's go ahead and get lava out of my creative inventory and just put lava all around. There's no way these zombies are getting past this lava and into my digger. How are they going to get up this cool slime block? But never mind that. We need to add some more traps just in case. So let's go ahead and add my next favorite trap. Lasers. So let's go ahead and put lasers all around the lava. So when these zombies step on the lasers, they get absolutely burned. I would never want to step on a laser, guys. Have you ever stepped on a laser? The more lasers lasers the better so let's just run around my entire digger and place lasers everywhere louis traps are going to be way worse than this and now for the cherry on top now that my lava's done and my lasers are done let's go ahead and hire security guards so let's go ahead and get a snow block and a pumpkin do you guys know what we're about to do that's right we're going to make snowmen security guards Peace. Snowmen are going to scare away the zombies. Just look at their faces. They're so scary. And if I put a pumpkin on my head, look how scary I am. And I can't even see. So let me take this off and make some more pumpkins. And make some more snowmen. Well, we should even make some snowmen at Louie's base just to prank him. Where is Louie? Maybe he's at the toilet or something. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of snowmen right under his face to ruin his digger. Because Louis hates snowmen. Well, I love them. The more snowmen, the better. And I might even prank him some more by putting some snowmen on top of his digger. Oh, it's going to be so hard for Louis to get rid of all of these snowmen. And when the snowmen walk around, they put snow on the ground. So give it a few minutes and the snowmen are going to walk over all of his digger and put snow all over it. But I think that's enough pranking Louie. He's going to come back and be so scared of the snowman. He gets scared so easily. But I think I should add a few more things to my engine room. <gasps> like some TVs. But not just any TVs. Super duper futuristic screens. My digger is going to look so futuristic. And my digger is looking awesome now it's time to make the scooper poop <laughs> But now the tripwire trap is complete, let's go see what Pip's up to. Uh, Pip, are you busy right now? Oh, Louie, I just finished all of my traps. Come look at them. Whoa, these are really cool looking. You've got, what is this, a lava trap going around and some yep. lasers? Yep, Louie, I put lasers all around my digger. The more lasers, the better. I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. That's gonna kill all of the zombies, right? Yep. 
look around. I even hired a bunch of super scary security guards. I don't really think that's true. Why is this guy so, uh, not scary looking? Oh, well, I thought they would be great security guards, so I even put them under a digger. I thought you'd love them. What? Oh, wait, why did you troll me? I didn't troll you, Louie. I'm helping you. Um, no, you're not. Look at this. This is the guy you've hired <gasps> to be in my base. Look how silly he looks. Wait, how did you take his head off, Louie? You're a murderer. No, I didn't murder him. He's fine. Look, he just looks a bit silly now. Oh, Louie, I want to do that with your head. What? Come oh, on, let me take no! off your head. Get away. Oh, Pip, you should know better not to chase me and try and cut my head off. But anyways, I need to add some more traps. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a lava trap on the outside, not because I'm copying you, Pip, but because I really, really need one. After all, those zombies might get through and kill me, and I'll make this really, really long like this. So if any of the zombies want to get here, they'll have to walk around like this, or they could risk dying and do a boat clutch. And if you guys don't know what a boat clutch is, let me show you. If I get one of these boats and jump across the lava, I could put a boat right there before it disappears. And if if I throw them down whilst jumping across, I can jump over the lava with the boats. It's very difficult though. Boom and ah. Oh. But as you can see, we can get across that lava with those boats. And if the zombies decide not to use the boats, then they'll have to go around this side right here, where I'm going to add some really cool traps. Look at this. If I grab these things called redstone fans and place them down like this, they aren't moving at the moment. But if I get a lever, I can turn them on and off and they blow things really far away. Look, it blew me all the way back here into the lava. So, essentially what I'm going to do is get some redstone, and I'm going to get a redstone link. This is like wireless redstone, or like Bluetooth. And what I'm going to do is put a redstone dust in there, and then set it to receiving mode. And I'll do the exact same thing all the way on the other side, just over here. You'll see why this is so cool in just a moment, guys. I'll place some more redstone fans, another one of these redstone links with a redstone dust inside on receiving mode. And now watch this. If I'm all the way up here on my control panel and I notice some zombies over there or over there, I could just press a lever that is connected to this redstone link like this and I'll turn the fans on from all the way back here. It's foolproof. This way, those zombies will not be able to get around. And just to make sure they don't, I'm going to set the area behind these fans as well to lava. So nothing can get around unless they go through those gaps. This is perfect. My digger is extremely secure right now. But now that I've got that trap, I need to make sure that no zombies will be able to get even next to the trap. So I'm going to go ahead Ahead and get some spikes. These will make sure that the zombies can't get anywhere over here unless they walk through and take some damage first. This way, they'll be easier to kill if they get next to my base. Let's just put a bunch of spikes down like this and boom, we are done. We have spikes on both sides that will stop those zombies. But now I want one more trap and I think I'll add a dispenser trap. I'm going to make a massive wall of dispensers like this and I'm going to fill them full of fire charges. This means if any zombies get nearby, I will be able to absolutely blast them with fire like a flamethrower. I just have to be careful not to turn this machine on just yet because Mikey and JJ's families are right there and I do not want to burn them. So let's just build this trap but not activate it until Mikey and JJ are inside. Let's just build all the way over here. This is a very long flamethrower trap but now all I need is a redstone stone repeater and some redstone dust. Let's go ahead and add those in now. I'll put some redstone dust going all the way down these dispensers like this. And then once again, I'll add another redstone link. Let's put this one right up here. I'm going to put this redstone link right here with a lever on the side. And I'll put a fire charge in it so I know it's the flamethrower trap. Now let's put a redstone link here with another one of these and set it to receiving mode. Now let's just put a a bunch of redstone repeaters going all the way down this machine right here. And this should work when I turn it on. Let's see what happens, guys. Look, if 
I click this lever, it should shoot a bunch of fire charges. Hopefully, Mikey and JJ forgive me if it hits them. And whoa! Let's just spam this machine and look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hit JJ's mom and JJ's little brother. Um, okay. They're fine. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. Louis, what is all this fire doing? Oh, I was just testing out my flamethrower trap. It just got a little bit too, um, crazy. Flamethrower? Louis, you nearly burned JJ and Mikey's family. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Look, to make up for it, let me just use an admin command that gets rid of all the fire. How about that? Oh, Louis. Why don't you get rid of this flamethrower, too? What? No! I need it to keep those zombies away from this base. But when you're trying to kill the zombies, why don't you try to not hit Mikey and JJ's family? Um, I'm just a little dumb. That's all it is, Pip. But I'm not as dumb as you. Look at your digger. What's wrong with my digger, Louie? Well, first of all, Pip, it's made out of dirt. It'll just wash away in the rain. Oh, Louie. I'm one step ahead of you. If you look, I also made my digger out of reinforced dirt and granite. Well, I guess the granite would do really well and the reinforced dirt, but the majority of this is made out of dirt. And I'm pretty sure diggers are supposed to pick up dirt, not be made out of it. Oh, well, Louie, you kind of have a point there, but it's too late to change it now, Louie. Just watch my pooper scooper poo. Ew, I don't want to look at that. Oh, Louie, you're just jealous. Your digger doesn't have a pooper scooper. You know what? I'm not jealous at all. This is the worst noob base I've ever seen. Well, Louie, at least my face isn't made out of skittles. What? It's not made out of skittles. It's made out of rainbows, which is, I would say, way stronger than diamonds. Wait, how is it stronger than diamonds, Louie? Well, Pip, the reason it's stronger than diamonds is because rainbows only come out, like, twice a year. And also, at the end of them is a really crazy pot of gold and leprechauns. I want the pot of gold. Yeah, um, Pip, there is no pot of gold in my base. I just managed to harness the power of rainbows into my digger. Oh, you lied to me. Oh, luckily these snowmen put snow all around your digger. <laughs> Ew, get that off. No, I don't want my digger to be cold on the inside. I want it to be nice and warm. I hope it's so warm that it blows up. Um, Pip, it'll never blow up. Look, my engine is very, very, very safe. It has a ton of fans on it, so it's not gonna go kabloom anytime soon. Oh, Louie, I feel like it's missing something really important. Wait, Pip, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! Get those chickens out of here! That's dangerous! Louie, I'm just helping you. I'm making the engine powered by chicken poop. Oh, this Wait, duck is this so chicken cute. poop is gonna blow my engine, Pip. It got in the Wait, engine. Oh. Wait, how did it do that? Well, your ducks were too busy pooping inside the engine and it messed everything up. Oh, no, Louie. My duck family doesn't do that. Your engine must have been built poorly. It wasn't built poorly. I built it just fine. Even the viewers could tell you that, Pip. Let me just rebuild this thing. Oh, my Oh my gosh. Well, Louie, if you had ducks from the start, maybe it wouldn't have blown up. No, it would have blown up 20 times faster if it had ducks in it already. <laughs> now I have to rebuild my entire motor. Thanks a lot, Pip. Oh, you're welcome. What? No, I meant that in a bad way, not a... Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm not even gonna try. I just fixed my engine again. Well, Louie, your base is really sucky. Your engine blows up. Your flamethrower bout kills JJ. Mikey. What? No, it doesn't. And there's not even a pooper scooper on it. But I don't need a pooper scooper. Your base is, um, very, very bad. Now it has that on it. Oh, Louie, I put the least expected thing on my digger. Those zombies aren't expecting poop. Yeah, they aren't expecting poop, but it won't hurt them or do anything to them. Oh, well, poop is really smelly. So maybe they'll smell the poop and run away. Yeah, uh, hopefully. But Pip, I just realized I don't have an armory on there. I need to put some armor in right now. Oh, luckily, I already have an armory, Louie. I have the best armor in the game. Weather armor. Uh, wait, weather armor? What do you mean weather armor? Yeah, you told me weather armor was the best armor in the game. Pip, I swear, if you put leather armor in there... Uh, um, no, 
No, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. my gosh, Pip. There is leather armor inside of your base. Oh, I didn't say leather. I said nether. Like this. Like netherite armor. Like this one right here. Well, isn't it basically like the same thing? No, it's not. Leather armor is so weak. And netherite armor is really strong. Did you know it's so strong that you take less knockback from mobs? Well, if this armor is super good and this armor is super bad, why did they name it the same thing? No, that's leather armor. And this is nether right armor. Because it's right to wear it. So is this leather wrong armor? Yeah, that's leather wrong armor. And you should not wear it, Pip. Oh, well, I think I'm still going to wear it because it looks super good. <sighs> Oh, fine. Well, I'll leave this netherite's armor inside your base if you ever need it. Let me go work on my armory. I still haven't built it. I'm going to put a ton of netherite armor right at the end over here so I can put it on whenever I want. And then I can go ahead and place some chests in the middle. This is where my weapons are going to go. I think for my first weapon, I'll have these dragon bone bows and dragon bone arrows. If you guys didn't know, these bows are really strong. They can kill a mob in one shot. But now I'm going to put a flaming dragon bone sword inside of this chest. This is literally a sword that is on fire. So it can burn any enemies I hit. Like this little duck here. And now in this last chest, I'm going to put some food to keep myself alive. I'm going to need some golden apples. These will definitely make sure I don't die. But I would say that's a pretty good armory. That will keep me protected from all of these zombies. But there we go. We have a bunch of armor right here. And uh, wait a second. Pip, um, have you seen the time? What time is it, Louie? It's night time. Look, the sun is going down and the moon is coming up. Oh, no. This is terrible, Louie. We need to get Mikey and JJ's family inside ASAP. Yeah, come on, guys. We need to go. All right, there we go. JJ, JJ's mom, and his little brother are inside of my base. We should be very much secure now. Pip, is Mikey's family in there as well? Yep, Louie. Mikey, Mikey's sister, and Mikey's little brother are safe with me. All right, perfect. Let's get our armor on now because we need to prepare for the oncoming battle. So I'll just take this netherite armor off of this armor stand and I'm going to put it on, get some golden apples, this flaming sword, and a dragon yeah. bone bow with some arrows. Yep, Louie, and I'm going to use my leather armor and I'm going to throw away this trash yeah. netherite armor Wait. into the lava. Wait, what? Don't throw it away. And you can't put it in lava, by the way. It doesn't burn in lava. Oh, why isn't it burning? Sorry, Pip. But wait a second. Pip, I'm in survival mode. Same, Louie. Does that mean what I think it means? I think it does. I hope these zombies aren't outside. Let's just go down this ladder and... Oh, my gosh. The zombies are here, Pip. <gasps> There's so many. Look how many zombies there are here. Hopefully, I can shoot a few of them, and we won't have to deal with as many. And whoa, there's so many of them. This is bad. Oh, luckily, they don't know how to get past the lava, and they don't know how to use my slime block entrance. Yeah, they don't know how to get past my lava, but if I move a tiny bit to the side, they'll just walk all the way around. Oh, no. Look. Oh, no. Those baby zombies can get through very easily. Let me jump up my slime trap. Go. Oh, phew! All right, let's turn on those fans so that no zombies can get past there. Let's see what they do. They walk through there, and then they get blown into the lava. Perfect! But where are those baby zombies? I saw them down there. I think, look, they're trying to use my slime block, but no! I'm not letting you on. And whoa, Pip, I'm looking at your base, and your traps are actually doing somewhat okay. Yep, Louie. I can't believe I came up with all these traps by myself, including my entrance. Yeah, you are pretty good at building traps recently, but are you as good at dodging a whole flamethrower? Wait, Louie, your flamethrower is kind of helping me. All the zombies are burning. Yep, and the best part is it leaves a bunch of fire on the grass around, which burns all the zombies if they're not careful and walk over them. Look, I'm going to shoot a ton more fire. 
fire charges. Watch out, Pip. Some of them might hit you. Ow! And Ooh, boom. Try not to aim for me. I can't aim this thing. It's a bunch of dispensers that shoot the fire charges. I don't do it. Whoa, Louis. There's so much fire here. These zombies are dying like crazy. Yep. That's right, Pip. These zombies stand no chance against my OP traps. But wait a second. Where did all the fire just go? It disappeared. <gasps> it seems like the zombies put it out. Are you kidding me? Well, how did they do that? I don't know, but it seems like the zombies are getting stronger. Louie, what are those? Wait, what are you talking about? And whoa, a bunch of mutant zombies just spawned, Pip. We have to be careful. There's so many of them. Oh, they can hit me from super far away. Whoa, and it seems like they're spawning zombies in to fight me. Hopefully they can't get over my lava pits. Please don't do it. Wait, it seems like they're swimming through the lava. Are you kidding me? They can do that? No, I need to use my flamethrower. Come on, do something. Wait, they're immune to the fire. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is super bad. Ow, and they can hit me. I don't know how they can do that. They're managing to hit me from all the way across the lava pool. This is insane. But it seems like some of them are dying in the lava, which is very, very good. We have to be careful now, Pip. It seems like the zombie army is getting stronger and stronger as the night goes. We do not want to get caught in the middle of this. Oh, Rudy, I'm going to go on my roof and shoot the zombies from the top of my digger. All right, go ahead, Pip. I'll just keep fighting off these zombies inside of my lava pool and... This is really, really dangerous. Um, Pip, are you okay over there? It seems like all of those mutant zombies were just underneath your base. Oh, Louie, I think they're starting to break in. Are you kidding me? Oh, be careful, Pip. We don't have very long left, it seems. All these zombies are going to destroy us if we're not careful. I'm going to use my flamethrower to help you. Take this. Oh, my gosh. This is really, really bad. The more mutant zombies that spawn in, the less chance we'll have of surviving. Louie, I think I need your help. Come over here. Oh, my gosh. There's so many mutant zombies over there. Don't worry, Pip. I've got this. I didn't show any of you guys this, but I have one of the most OP weapons in Minecraft, and I'm going to use it. In this chest right here, I stored away some dark matter guns, which are really strong, and I'm going to use these against those mutant zombies. Let's do this! All right, Pip, I'm coming to help you. Let me just climb down my ladders and get over there. Quick, Louie, they're coming! I'm on my way! Um, all right, I'm going to eat a golden apple so that I have fire resistance. And I can swim through this lava. Now I have to kill these zombies to get through. Take this. Louis, stop killing the zombies on your side and kill the zombies on my side. All right, Pip, I'll try my best. Take this mutant zombie. All right, I killed one of them. And it seems like there's a lot more zombies to kill. Oh my gosh. Let's kill this mutant zombie right here. And this one. And whoa, it seems like I can kill them very fast. These machine guns are extremely strong. Boom! Louie, you're fighting over there, but the mutant zombies are over here! All right, Pip, I'm coming to help. Take this! Don't worry, Pip, I'm here to help you. My machine gun is so powerful that it's definitely going to help you stay alive. These mutant zombies are dying really quickly. Come on! Oh, Louie, you might need to get into my base right now. We need to get Mikey's family to safety. All right, Pip, I'm on my way. I'm I'm running through the middle of all these mutant zombies, and I'm going to get up right now. Boing! Oh, no. I missed. What? Come get on. In. I'm trying. I'm trying. Whoa. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, Louie, now that you're here, let's get Mikey's family to safety right now. All right. Let's bring Mikey all the way to my base. Here we go. Where is he? There he is. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go. All right, Pip. We made it. It was really difficult, but we got Mikey's family inside of my dick. They're all safe now. All right, how about this? This zombie apocalypse is getting really crazy. Let's just get out of here. Let's drive away. Oh, you're right, Louie. Where's your engine room? Well, follow me. Let's go through here. And then let's climb up this ladder into my engine room. And whoa, look how cool this looks. <gasps> This is so cool. I know it is. So how about this, Pip? Let's get onto our seats and let's drive away. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, Louis, we've been driving for ages. Are we there yet? Um, I don't know, Pip. 
We've been driving for a while and wait a second. We've been driving for so long that the sun came up. Look! The sun! Oh, I miss seeing the sun. Wait a second. Look around us. There's no zombies and your excavator's gone. We drove so far away. Oh, Louie, your excavator is so OP. Thank you very much, Pip. But let's make sure that JJ and Mikey's families are okay. If they are, then we successfully survived the zombie <laughs> army. And oh my gosh, <gasps> they're just fine. No way, Louie. We survived the zombie invasion. But if you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Pip, put your butt away. Let's go! Let's go!